Prospero Año Nuevo, mis amigos. Here we are with the first Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk of 2011, and I hope everyone's new year is off to a good start. This week, we'll be finding out about one of the filthiest and foulest smelling of the Fab Four's friends. Say what's up to Worm. Worm, spelled with a Y, not an O, only ever appeared in the Archie comic series. He appeared in an animated clip for a toy commercial, but was never actually featured in the cartoon. Worm's alignment can actually be a little confusing. In the comic and on his bio, he's presented as a good guy, as he's arch enemies with Scumbug and pals with Muckman. But his toy commercial lumps him in with the baddies, so make of it what you will. In any case, Worm, much like Muckman, was a sanitation worker, but has since permutated into a putrid planarian. Worm has a wicked cool look to him. His freaky face and bright colors really make him stand out even from some of the tackiest TMNT toys. Worm's cerulean skin is highlighted with purple, including a tuft of plastic hair, crust around his eyes, and painted on slobber coming out of his mouth. A speck I'm particularly fond of is the fact that his ten fingers are replaced by purple worms. Like most of the clothing on TMNT figures, Worm's bright green sanitation uniform is practically torn to shreds. His top now reads Unsanitation Department. His left leg features a busted up boot on his foot. His right leg, however, has completely turned into a totally terrible tentacle with purple suction cupped yellow underside. Worm is as mobile as most other turtle figures. He has movable hips, shoulders, forearms, and rather than his neck, his jaw. The best part of all, if you pull on his hair, not only do you open his mouth, but you make his eyes bug out. Too freaking rad. Despite having only one foot, balance is no problem for Worm as there are two flat bases on the bottom side of his tentacle. All of Worm's weapons are completely complementary to his character. His trash compactor mallet seems to be created out of a segment of log with lots of holes and worms in and all over it. His worm knife looks to be a scythe-like weapon with pairs of worms forming a blade. His worm belt also completely consists of a string of worms knotted together around his waist. The Porcupounder is my favorite of his items, as it serves both as a weapon and kind of a little friend figure. Simply put, it's a pipe wrench with a pretty peeved porcupine perched upon it. While we're on the topic of bite-sized buddies, Worm also comes with a mouthful of munchy mouth worms. Worm's tongue and teeth form grooves on either side within his mouth, into which the worms can fit and rest comfortably enough. So if Worm ever asks you if you like seafood, you've been warned. If you're a fan of the original TMNT toy line, I have no idea how you could possibly not love Worm. I mean, between his buggy eyes, his overall physical makeup, and his awesome arsenal, I don't think there's any going wrong with him. What's your take on Worm? Is he a fabulous flatworm or fetid fish bait? The best place to speak your mind is at www.radicalretro.com, where you can join the forums and share your thoughts. Radical Retro Turtle Toy Talk is a part of the Pop Culture Network, which is your one-stop site for vast amounts of audio and visual material covering all the things you love, like toys, TV and film, comics, wrestling, and plenty more. Looking to blow some dough? I can't think of a better place to spend any holiday money you might have gotten than at the Pop Culture Network store, where you'll find an enormous inventory of items you know you just gotta have. Hope you enjoyed this week with Worm. 
But now it's time to wiggle on out. Stay rad, all.